Just like any hobby, birding is comprised of a diverse set of people from all different walks of life. Of course, this can lead to a wide variety of ideas, beliefs, and morals coexisting together in the hobby. For this reason, some subjects end up turning into hot button issues that can rage on in comment sections and start debates on social media. Just in case you ever wanted to start a lively discussion at your local bird club, or wanted to avoid such an event, here are the top five most controversial topics in the bird and birding community. Invasive species. There are many bird species non-native to North America that have proliferated to such a point that they put a strain on the ecosystem, pushing out many native creatures. A large portion of them became this way due to humans intentionally introducing them. While it's impossible to deny that some of these birds have had a negative impact on native species, there are many different trains of thought when it comes to dealing with these birds. Some people are on the side of doing whatever it takes to eliminate them altogether. Others are on the side of gently dissuading them from inhabiting feeding and nesting places used by native birds. Then there are those that want the invasive species to be left alone and to be treated the same way one would a native species. As we found out in one of our videos, suggesting any of these viewpoints can be quite controversial. A lot of people grow attached to the birds they see regularly around their house, and oftentimes they are invasive species such as house sparrows and starlings. This can lead to very emotional reactions when someone suggests getting rid of them, and thus, the debate begins. Bird viewing and photography ethics. Birders versus photographers can sometimes be a contentious relationship in and of itself, with birders often viewing photographers as being obsessed with getting the perfect shot, more than caring about the birds. While this is of course a generalization, and it's not right to paint an entire group of people with a broad stroke, there have been some documented cases of people behaving badly to get a photograph, or even just birders trying to get a closer look. There have been numerous issues with people getting too close to sensitive species, and even accidentally chasing away rare birds. The type of bird that has traditionally been at the epicenter of problems involving people getting too close are owls. There have been numerous issues with snowy and long-eared owls in particular getting repeatedly harassed by birders and photographers. Another thing that causes problems is the practice of owl baiting. Owl baiting is exactly what it sounds like, bringing a small animal, either alive or dead, to place in front of a wild owl in the hopes that the owl will come and take it. The reason people do this is to try and get flight shots or hunting shots of owls and other birds of prey. For obvious reasons, many people disagree with owl baiting, but others believe it's okay. In general, since everyone has a somewhat different code of ethics when it comes to birding and photography, a lot of arguments start about the proper way to behave when out in the field. Ivory-billed woodpecker Oh, the ivory-billed woodpecker! Who would have thought that talk about whether a bird is extinct or not could generate such rage? Surprisingly, that's exactly what it does. There are two main sides to the ivory-billed woodpecker debate. One side believes the bird is extinct, and any discussion, time, or money put into looking for it is a waste. The other side believes it is still alive somewhere in the forests and swamps of the American South. Oddly enough, both sides can become quite aggressive in arguing their points, with ivory-billed woodpecker deniers viewing the other side as swindlers or conspiracy theorists, and the ivory-billed woodpecker believers viewing the other side as not having an open mind to the potential evidence out there. This debate has raged on to such a degree that the ivory-billed woodpecker discussion has been banned from many different Facebook groups and bringing it up will be a surefire way to start an argument, or simply get booted. Use of playback Playback is the process of using the call of a bird to lure it in closer, or out in the open. It can be done to try and get a better look, to try and get a photo, or to see a unique behavior. It seems that the majority of people believe that using playback sparingly to make an identification of a bird is likely okay, but there are ethical dilemmas associated with the topic. When people use playback during breeding season, it may force birds to abandon their nests, making them open to parasitism, making them waste valuable energy, or making them move to a different location, thus interrupting their breeding efforts. Additionally, there have been instances of people continuously trying to call an individual rare bird day after day to try and get the best look possible. While playback just one time likely won't have much of an impact, 
Prolonged playback can greatly interrupt the normal lives of birds and force them off their territory. Additionally, sensitive species are particularly susceptible to disturbances from playback, and as a result, certain rules are sometimes put into place for birds such as black rails to prevent people from harassing them. Gatekeeping Gatekeeping is when a person or group of people are the deciders when it comes to who is allowed to see a bird or know where a bird is located. This can happen when a rare bird shows up at someone's yard and the homeowner doesn't want a mob of people descending on their property. Or when a person or group of people know the location of a bird and only want to keep it to themselves or their group of friends. Situations like this happen fairly often and they definitely turn into a controversial topic and ethical dilemma. If a homeowner only wants a limited amount of people to be able to come see a bird on their property, how are those few people decided? Are people entitled to be able to see any bird that is found? Who can be trusted to view rare birds in an ethical way and who cannot? These are all questions that make gatekeeping in the birding community such a complicated and certainly controversial topic. Any hobby or activity will not exist with at least some controversy especially one with as many different personalities involved in it as birding. For this reason, the birding community, while it is generally a friendly place, has developed a few topics that are difficult to talk about without starting an argument. Are there any other controversial topics we didn't mention? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding.